Inspector. Very interesting museum you have here. Inspector, please tell me nothing. I prefer to investigate the scene of the crime spontaneously. That way it gives my trained instincts full reign, you know? But our security measures... Are... I'm sure your security measures are very good, but <laughs> obviously not good enough. Let me see. Ah! Oh, oh. Yes, very effective, very effective indeed. The element of surprise. Of course, I knew it was going to happen all the time, but nevertheless, the element of surprise. Oh, how very kind of you to welcome me. <laughs> ah. Is there any way of getting in and out of this place without this happening all the time? Deactivate. Deactivate the door. again. Very ingenious. He pulled himself across the floor. He did? How else could he avoid the radar field? Yes, how else? Hmm. Of course, he would need a very slippery floor to do that. Therefore, the wax. The wax? Ah! Are you, uh, all right? Of course I am all right. I'm examining the wax. Have you taken a sample of this wax? Wax is wax. Oh, that is where you are wrong. Wax is not just wax. In this case, it is a clue. English wax, French wax, domestic wax. Uh, the inspector is right. Uh, have the wax tested immediately. It is my guess that you will find it is English wax. Why? Because your thief is an Englishman. Uh, how do you know that? It is my business to know that. He is Sir Charles Phantom, the notorious Lytton. The Phantom? Yes, one and the same. His calling card. <coughs> Four years ago, Sir Charles suddenly vanished. It was rumored throughout the underworld that... <coughs> ...given up his life of crime, but my instinct told me he would not remain in hiding for long. Four years is not long. Time is not the issue here. This glove is the issue here. And it signifies the phantom is up to his old tricks. But I will catch him. I'll root him out. It won't be easy. He's a master of disguise. And undoubtedly has gone back into hiding until the heat is off. 